I'm Rajem to Eskin Joan, and this is episode two of Breath Break. I'm delighted that you're able to join me again today. And I want to build on some of the t- things that we were talking about in our last episode, where we went over the basic breath. Specifically, I want us to focus this time on our belly, which is one of the three components of the basic breath. I want to focus on the belly this week because the belly is such an important seat of our prana. And it's also the location of so many of our vital organs our digestion, our liver, our pancreas, our kidneys. It's where the womb is for the women and the prostate is for men. It's our urinary functions. So, so much activity goes on there. And we don't realize and understand sometimes or have an awareness of what an important function the belly provides in breathing. We often think of the breath as just going into our lungs. Indeed, that's where the exchange of gases happens in the alveoli of our lungs. That's where we are, we feed our entire body with oxygen by breathing in and we start to rid, it's one of the ways to rid things that we don't need uh, on a physical level through our exhale as we get rid of carbon dioxide. So it's one of the exchanges, important exchanges, and it's an important food. Oxygen is an important food. So, like I said, we tend to focus on the breath as mainly being about our lungs. But what's really fascinating to me is that our lungs don't breathe on their own. It's an unconscious action, breathing, but the activity and the action comes from the muscles around the lungs. The lungs are just a sponge. So if you think about a sponge sitting in your hand, that sponge doesn't do anything unless you use your hands to wring out the water or to collect up the water. In this case, the water would be the air, right? Now, One of the most important parts for that movement, initiating that movement, is our diaphragm, which kind of sits right at the base of our rib cage. Huge muscle there. And anyone who has done any singing lessons um, will know that the diaphragm and diaphragm control is so important to singing because when you start to develop that muscle and your awareness of your diaphragm, you have a capacity to bring more air into your lungs, which gives us those long, long, extraordinary notes in singing, right? Especially opera. You know those, when the, the, the note just goes on forever and ever and ever and ever. That's what a lot of operatic uh, singing, what the, the, the magic of it can be. And it's the same with, within other um, flavors and, and types of music as well. That long, long, long sustained note just takes you away with it. So in this circumstance, what we're talking about is the opportunity for us to fill our lungs to a greater capacity initiates in our bellies. In a normal breath, we only take in, well, 
I shouldn't say only because it's a lot of air, about half a liter of air, which is see if I can translate into the imperial system, which is about a couple of cups of, of, um, of air. Whereas our capacity, our potential capacity is five liters or 10 times that amount. Now, it's not necessarily that we breathe to such an extreme volume every time but it just gives you an idea of the range of our capacity of our lungs. So, <clears throat> breathing into our bellies helps drop the diaphragm, that muscle lowers down and gives more space for greater volume in our lungs. And by breathing into the belly and expanding in the abdominal cavity, it helps massage all those organs. It helps mm, the flow of the movement of all those organs. Because we sometimes think of our organs as separate entities and they're often treated that way. But really they're more like a choir right, that all work together. They each have very, very distinct functions, very, very clear roles. It's a little bit like the military where you've got very, very clear functions. Everyone knows exactly what they're supposed to be doing and they stay in their lane. It's the same with their organs. They each have specific functions. And they're very, very good about just doing that and doing that 100%. But an un, a disbal unbalance or an out of alignment in one organ will start to impact the other organs. So here, we want to just have that awareness as we breathe there that we're actually in tune with those organs and helping to massage them. So. I want to jump right in today to having some breath awareness and to bringing our breath into this incredible, incredible cavity, our abdominal cavity. with your spine straight. And just let your breath be. As you gather yourself fully, fully present in this moment. Have a sense that your activities of the day, your thoughts, your impulses, conversations, Kind of just slide away and you gather together all the energy that you've invested in those mental emotional, physical activities. You bring them back a little bit like a harvest. You've invested in those things. But just for this brief moment in time, you're going to gather yourself together. And they 
fully present here. And let's just take our hands and set them on our belly. As you breathe in, you should feel your hands, you should feel under your hands, your belly expand. And as you breathe out, your belly contracts, it drops. Belly expands three hundred and sixty degrees forwards to the sides and back. And as you exhale, three hundred and sixty degrees. Relaxes, relaxes inward. Inhale and expand fully, fully, fully. Exhale and contract completely, letting. oxygen into this cavity. Exhale and relax and release what's no longer of service to these organs, to these systems. And continue at your own pace, keeping your hands on your belly so that you can feel the movement. So that you ensure you align your breath so that on the inhalation, your belly expands 300. 60 degrees and on the exhalation the belly contracts relaxes make the breath as long and deep as is comfortable for you today shorter, do so. If you're able to stretch yourself a bit and go a little bit longer in your breath, do so. Meeting yourself where you're at with complete openness, receptivity, and friendliness. breath smooth, soft, supple,
And if you feel any sensations or discomfort, just adjust accordingly, being mindful, respectful of where you're at in this Belly is the seat of our creativity, of our alchemy. The belly is the seat of our digestion. digestive system. They separate out what is of service, what nourishes us. And what will return to earth. What is not needed within the body. Powerful metaphor how we filter, how we choose what matter, what energy feeds us. the breath, long, smooth, supple, soft, soft, soft. Have a slight smile to support the attitude of friendliness towards your belly your breath. This is your receptivity to life. This is your relaxation in front of life. Consciously inhale your life and relax your life. Be 100% present with your breath in your belly with this very simple movement that is ever so powerful. Feel the massage of your organs and your systems as you expand and contract the belly.
Now relax that awareness, that focus. Relax the breath and let it go where it wants to go. There is a natural unconscious intelligence to our breath and how it serves us. Just take a moment and acknowledge your gratitude to this area of your body, your belly, and for how it serves you. So, that's your breath break for this week. I encourage you to practice what we just did, breathing into your belly every day this week. And drop in and just check out your breath. See what's going on from time to time during your day. If you're feeling any anxiety or stress or discombobulation in front of your day to what you're experiencing in your day, just drop in, bring some oxygen in consciously and make a choice of what you choose, what you draw to you, what you're going to filter, what you're going to keep and that which you're going to let go of. So it can happen on the physical level, that filtration, but it also happens on an emotional and a mental level and our physical, the physical filtration supports that. They, are, they, they work together. So we're just drawing awareness and un and allowing ourselves to understand how they work together. So this week has been about our belly, our abdominal cavity with all its incredible organs and function and filtration. How are you filtering your life? How are you choosing what it is that you not just put in your body, but what you're putting in your mind, what you're putting in your environment. What are your filters? And are they taking you, nourishing you to the greatest degree possible? So I leave you with that. I thank you so much for joining me on this, our second episode of Breath Break. And I look forward to spending more time with you next week. If you enjoyed the video, press like, because that is a service to me in return. And of course, press subscribe if you want to be alerted to all the videos that are coming up. Thank you again. I hope you have a peaceful and blessed day.